Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Uh, Tata and I are, well, I'm wiped out from this morning and we're trying to build up ambition to head back down into the fields. We started earlier, but I think uh, we haven't talked about it, but I think the consensus is, is that we're going to have to start even earlier. Because I was through with the bar by like 7 o'clock and I was just drenched in sweat. It's so hot. And it's really humid today as well. So in the interest of procrastination and not going back down into that field, I, I've been, I need to do this anyway. So um, I'm figuring out how much to, figuring out how much to feed the tilapia every day. Now, I've guessed their weight at uh, 10 grams each. Uh, we put 500 in there, just call it 500. I think we put 500 and, I don't know, it was less than 510, I think. <coughs> so, um, that, that equals 5,000 grams of fish. Now, it depends on which... Uh, school of tilapia raisin that you go to uh, there's all kinds of different information out there on uh, feeding rate um, you base the uh, the amount of feed uh, based on their uh, biomass the biomass of uh, all the fish that you have in a particular cage or tank or pond or whatever it is and so um, and it, and it varies, the percentage of feed that you feed them varies uh, by their age. Uh, for very uh, for very young fry, and those are the guys like this big, uh, you can go as high, as long as you've got good water for them, you can go as high as 7% of their uh, body weight per day. Uh, but these guys, they're, you know, they're the fingerling stage. They're like, yay, I'm guessing them at 10 grams uh, a piece. Uh, their feeding rate is anywhere between four and five and a half percent, four and five percent really of their, uh, body weight per day. So, uh, I, the estimate is, is that there's, uh, 5,000 grams of uh, fish in that cage. So uh, 5,000, if I was, if I were to feed them 5% uh, of their body weight per day would be uh, 250 grams of feed per day. Now uh, I'm going to, when I, when I have some extra, uh, I probably have enough right now for just that one small cage of tilapia. Uh, I haven't been doing it, but I need to start feeding them the Azola duckweed mix. But I've been trying to save what I've got in anticipation of basically putting everything that I've got in the round tank when we get that done. So I haven't been taking anything out of the crayfish tanks and putting it in the pond. I've just been letting it build up. Hopefully, uh, Tata, well, I'm going to start very early in the morning before daylight because this heat is un... Uh, well, you can't work very long. I can't work very long in this heat because I get too hot. It's not that the, it's not that the work is so hard because it's the same work I always do. But you, I get I get hot and I can't cool off after a couple hours. You just get so hot you can't sweat enough. Uh, you know we were we were a little bit lucky this morning because the, the clouds kept coming over. But in direct sun, man, you just roast. Uh, it's just way too hot. So anyway, we're going to. Uh, hopefully get to that round tank Thursday, Friday-ish. And we also have the, the 
uh, drip tape order. Don't know when it's supposed to arrive. Technically, it's the the, the word from Shopee is that it's at the distribution hub, so it might come this week. So if it does, then we I know we won't have time uh, to finish completing that field field three and get that tank done this week. But um, uh, it's not from lack of trying, let's put it that way. So uh, 200 and uh, back to the tilapia in the cage. So 250 grams per day is what I'm gonna be feeding them. And I'm feeding, I'm feeding sorry swimmer. Sorry buddy. He was underneath my feet and I, I moved my foot. So I'm feeding them starter. Uh, it's just this little tiny, these little tiny uh, pellets here, and I will switch them over to grower um, in about a month. Uh, this starter is the highest protein that I can get for the money, and uh, they need it at this age. So, uh, 250 grams per day. You divide that by three because I'm going to be feeding them three times a day. Um, and when I begin the uh, Azola duckweed, I'm only going to be feeding them twice a day. So I'm going to be eliminating, eliminating one of the uh, sack feed feedings uh, in, in an effort to uh, try to uh, lower feed costs. So uh, 250 divided by 3 is 83-ish uh, grams. So, uh, in this container right here, we're 620 grams, so that's way too much. I'm going to see how much is in this little cup. My, I've been feeding them, uh, I don't have a, the size of cup here, a smaller cup than this one. I've been feeding them two at a time. All right, so that weighs uh, 220 grams. So uh, this much feed here is like their daily allotment. I've already been feeding them more than that. That's 90 grams right there. That's this much, and that's a that's a little more than a good handful. So uh, this much which isn't, isn't much, three times a day. And that'll get them to their uh, 250 grams. Uh, Consing just came through trying to be real quiet, got, got her ice water. Consing and Ippy, God bless them. You know, it's, it's work and it's in the heat, but it's not really, really hard work. They're gonna be planting, uh, I don't know what to call it anymore. Fields one and two. I guess we could just call it field one now. Uh, but then I have to change all the rest of them. Uh, they're going to be planting the uh, the squash today. So let me see. This cup here really won't hold enough. Let's see if I can. A little bit bigger one here. Yeah, but that one doesn't hold any more. So I need a slightly larger cup than this for the 250. I'm not going to go into the house and start going through all Marcel's cups. That would not be uh, advantageous to my uh, well being. All right, so that's 250 right there, what's in this container. So that's their daily uh, ration. And I, uh, I need to measure it out in the uh, cup that is down there. Because I've got a large container with a cup in it. And uh, by my calculations, I've been overfeeding them. Uh, it is what it is. My basic rule of thumb is is that I feed them 
uh, it takes me about five minutes. Uh, I'll throw a cup in, and if that disappears real quick like, I'll throw another cup in. And uh, depending on how they go after that, uh, I can kind of tell how hungry they are and kind of judge the overall feeding on that. Uh, I've been overfeeding them uh, by weight. Uh, so we're, we're going to have to make a slight adjustment. Alright, so uh, when I came down at lunchtime for their noontime feeding, uh, the camera got too hot and it uh, didn't record. So I'm going to feed them now. So they're getting most of one of these cups. Now I'll wait a few minutes and see how they clean that up and if it's gone uh, quickly then I'll give them like another half a cup. There's a bunch of other fry, well, small fingerlings in there, about an inch long. You can see them. They're right here in this corner, and they went in through the net, so they're just going to be hanging out in there for a while. And there's a lot of them in there. That's a whole hatch, I would imagine. They're about three weeks old, and they're, well, of course they're going where the food is. Now that sound you hear, like uh, Rice Krispies, that's the fish that are in this part here that we didn't uh, get uh, separated. And they are, uh, if they manipulate it just right, this feed is small enough to where it can go through the feed guard. Uh, in about two weeks I'm going to be changing these over to grower. And that, that food is too large uh, to go through the feed guard. But for right now, the fish that are, that are in the rest of this portion of the pond are... Yeah, they finished that up. So they're going to get some more right out there. And that's their evening feeding. So yeah, these guys... Uh, are doing well. Now they don't eat much when they're this age. That container of feed right there is probably a kilo and a half and that will last them several days, almost a week. But as they grow their feed consumption exponentially increases until like the last month, six weeks, there they would be eating, I don't know, a full one of those containers per day, three times a day. They're doing well. I'm pretty happy with how the tilapia are going. What can you say, Tatai? Many. <laughs> Many, yeah. There's a lot of those smaller... Let's see if I can zoom in on them a little. There they are there. They're the inch long ones that technically should not be in this cage, but they were in the pond, so and they can fit through the net, so now they're in there. So at harvest time, five months from now, uh, we'll have a bunch more fish that uh, will be really small. Well, not really small. They'll be too small to harvest, and they'll, they will go in the next appropriate uh, cage. 
Yeah, they've got the hustle figured out really well. Alrighty, thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.